record this video to show how I made this mom cave sign for my craft room. The board is around 24 by 36. It's from Michaels and it's in the clearance section at my store. It's very soft. It has a soft fabric and you can use thumbtacks. So I have gold, rose gold thumbtacks, cardstock paper, ribbons, and gold scrap paper to make this design along with leftover flowers from in my house. So the first step is to cut down your cardstock paper to your desired size. If you're not using this particular board, your measurements will definitely be different than mine. Like the top of this perfume bottle that I, the shape that I'm creating is a little bit over five inches and the bottom is a little bit over eight inches, which is around nine. So the measurements that I had for myself will probably be different than yours. So I use the gold cardstock paper also purchased from Michaels and I played around with seeing where on this perfume bottle this cardstock would be best positioned. Once I figured that out, I just cut it down. So the gold shape for this is around eight by nine and I simply use my cutter, cut it down to my desired size and use the thumbtacks to adhere it to the fabric board. I did not use any glue because I do not want to leave any residue once I'm done with this project and decide to do something else. The, th the thumbtacks are easily removable and then I can just remove them and create a new design. So this gold cardstock is very thick. Thumbtacks work. And to keep everything secure to the board, I simply use the thumbtacks, which work perfectly. And like I said before, you can easily remove them to create new designs. To create the sign, I use canva.com. You go to custom dimensions, change it to inches, your width is seven and your height is five. Once you create that template, I simply use lines to create the thick, dark um, outline that you see. You can click on the image to change the color at the top. And I simply just create a box to make that outline shape. And then I added my text. These flowers are hydrangea from Michaels. They are not new. I bought them several months ago. I did go to Michaels over the weekend and I did not see these particular ones there, but I do know that you can purchase them on Amazon. I usually decorate my home with flowers, so I have a lot of leftover flowers that I do not toss out. I keep them in this container in my closet. So there's no real way or template to lay your flowers. You kind of just Figure it out on your own as you go along and use the thumbtack to attach them to the board. So to kind of conceal the thumbtack, 
I use it and I pin pin it down on the actual flower to cover up the stem of the flower so you're not really seeing that aspect and just only focusing on the flowers. So you can just play around with it and decorate and move the flowers around however you like to kind of create that look that you like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. You can find more of my photos and blog posts on thiswellplannedlife.com and on Instagram at thiswellplannedlife.